In the previous video, I demonstrated how we can set up Profex to export refinement results directly to Excel spreadsheets, like this uh, example here. It's a pre-formatted Excel sheet and Profex automatically exports uh, data such as, for example, the file name, the sample ID and, of course, the refinement results and the diffraction pattern to this template. And in this video, I would like to show one more feature here in the export configuration, how we can filter the exported results and uh, have a bit more control over the text that is uh, sent to Excel. Specifically, I will show how these two columns, the filter using uh, regular expressions and the output columns work. And the example I'm going to use is the sample ID here. In my, my sample ID is, in this sample is F15 underscore 0005, followed by some date and a description of the sample. In fact, this is not exactly the sample ID, but the first part, the F15005, is my project number, and only the second part is my sample ID. But I can now use this uh, filter using regular expressions to split this string after the project number and write the project number to a, to a different cell and only the actual sample ID to the sample ID cell. And I'm using regular expressions and this, this is a very sophisticated uh, method. If you are not familiar with regular expressions, uh, you should go to, to a tutorial first. There's numerous tutorials on the internet and learn about the syntax of regular expressions because uh, if you don't understand what I'm entering here, it will look a bit like magic and you will not really understand what I'm doing. But if you are familiar with regular expressions, let me demonstrate how we can split the sample ID. My project number always starts at the beginning of the line. It starts with a capital F followed by one or more integer values, then underscore and four integers again, followed by one or more spaces. And then the part I'm actually interested in, the sample ID starts. And this one doesn't follow any scheme. So I'm just capturing every character following the, the project number. So this is my regular expression pattern that captures the part starting with 16 all the way to the end of the string. And this is only the filter. In the output column, I have to specify which of the capture groups I want to output to Excel. I only have one in this case, so I use uh, backslash one to specify my capture group number one, the part within the brackets here. So now instead of the full string that was entered into the sample ID field in the data collection program, it will only export this part representing my sample ID to the sample ID cell. Let's test this. And indeed now the project number is no longer listed in the sample ID field. So I can also export the project number. For example, if I wanted it to look like this, I want my project to be mentioned here. I will go to the configuration of the Excel export again. I want to add a new line. Global result, sample ID, because this part, this is part of the sample ID string that was entered to the data collection program. It should go to row number one, column A, that's column number one. And I will use the same string to filter, but this time I'm capturing this part of the string containing the project F number. And again, I want capture group number one to be used. Let's see if it works. And now this, the first part of my string th that was captured now is written here. But I would also like to, to 
have the string project, so project f15 here. So instead of capture group one, I just use this. And now I get this, this this string I want to have in this cell. If I want to format this part, for example, make it bold, make it bigger, like this, I would have to do it in the Excel template first because the formatting is something that is stored in the empty template and Profex just fills in the cell but does not uh, change the formatting of the cells. Another application of the regular expressions can be seen here. My raw data file actually has the extension raw. So this is not exactly correct. This is not my true raw file. But it's the only file I can access for the export because I'm reading this parameter here, the, the val file entry. But I can use the regular expressions to, to uh, cut off this part and add manually the extension raw. Let's try this and change the Excel export. So right here in the first line, this is my file name export. I want to capture my file name, so the base name of the file. And it is composed of anything but a dot followed by dot xy. And I want to use capture group number one and add the extension raw. So I'm capturing the part within the parentheses here, which is the base name of the file. And I'm using this with capture group number one and I add the raw extension. And here we go, now we have the true raw file name in this cell. Again, all these changes, if I want to keep them, I have to save a new preset project save as refinement preset. I will only save the Excel export uh, information, export with regular expressions, just for demonstration. So next time I, I open my refinement project, the Excel export will be empty. But as soon as I apply this new export with regular expressions, This is all restored with the regular expressions, all the filtering, and I can immediately export all these results to an empty template. So this is all I have to show for this new Excel export feature. It's, it is quite useful for repetitive tasks if you are processing a lot of uh, similar data sets with refinement presets. You can also create a, an export template and very easily export your results to a nicely formatted file. And it's a bit similar as the report, which creates an HTML file, but a lot of users prefer to have an Excel template, which gives a bit more flexibility and is easier to format, to, to create a custom format. So this is uh, hopefully appreciated by uh, many of you guys. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you for the next video.